At Lloyd & White, we've been in proud partnership with the AOP for over 10 years. Today I'm joined by Stephen Egan, who is our Commercial Development Manager, and he is going to help us answer some of our frequently asked questions around practice insurance. So Stephen, what can you tell us about practice insurance for optometrists? So practice insurance, especially for optometrists, so if you're looking at practice insurance policy, it's very much made up of these, these core covers and then the kind of the additional covers alongside it as well. Mm -hmm. So just focusing on the core covers to begin with. Um, so we look to cover your, your contents under there and also any kind of stock that you have as well. Yeah. Now included within that, uh, within these, the stock cover is what we call seasonal uplift cover. Okay. So say potentially certain parts of the year, you would have a higher level of stock within your, within your practice than you would for other times of the year, say it's around April, May, looking to bring in more sunglasses, for example. The policy would cater for that increase in the stock without you having to let us know. So it's okay. a nice little tailoring to the to optometrists under that kind of policy. Um, so moving away from contents and stock, you could also have cover for your buildings, should you own the buildings within the business name, uh, and also potentially your, what we refer to as tenants improvements. That's any fixed furnishings that you've put into the practice in order to create that optical space. Mm -hmm. So that's fixed cabinetry, any kind of flooring. Yeah. You've got your frame displays as well, which are often fixed within, within the reception as part of that display, and that would be tenants improvements. Alongside that is your liability, so your public liability and also your employer's liability cover as well. As we all know, employer's liability, legal requirement. Absolutely. And then also the business interruption cover as well. So business interruption is there to essentially uh, protect your turnover in the event that you're unable to practice. Say, for example, if there was a fire, the practice isn't able to open, you're therefore missing out on that revenue and turnover coming into the business. Yes. You're there, therefore, business is interrupted. The policy would look to indemnify the practice by way of business interruption cover. Brilliant. That's really helpful. Thank you, Stephen. No problem. So hopefully that's helped answer some of your questions. But if you have anything else that you'd like us to help you with, then please don't hesitate to get in touch and give Stephen and the rest of his team a call.